Hey YouTube, thanks for tuning in to Better Than Yourself. Today on Better Than Yourself, I'm going to present another episode of Thanksgiving First Aid. And today, mashed potatoes. I know a lot of people think mashed potatoes are easy to make, and everyone loves eating mashed potatoes with Thanksgiving. The trick is they're a little deceiving. You'd think that mashed potatoes is you boil mashed potatoes and mash them and you have mashed potatoes. But it's not. It's a little tricky. There's a couple of things that can really send you off in the wrong direction that you need to avoid. If you want good mashed potatoes, follow this episode and you'll be a pro. First step, the right kind of potatoes. You need russet potatoes. You need the, the, the potatoes you find in the produce department with the thick brown skins on them. These are russet potatoes. There's two kinds of potatoes in the world. There's mealy potatoes and waxy potatoes. Russets are considered mealy potatoes. If you look at other potatoes like new potatoes, white potatoes, those little pink potatoes that you can get in the springtime, those are all considered waxy potatoes and they make horrible mashed potatoes. The russets, when you, when you process them, they, the, the starch stays within the cells and it doesn't come out and get into the, into the mash and turn into paste, turn into that gloppy glue that looks like wallpaper paste that you really just don't want to eat and you end up putting more and more butter in and milk and it just, it just doesn't work. But if you start with good russet potatoes and boil them long enough, and then the best tool for the job is a ricer. You put your potatoes in here, squish them through, and they come out literally the size of little rice grains back down into the bowl. And you basically minimally process them. Instead of beating them and stirring them and whipping them and food processing them, you really just want to squish them out, break up the clumps, and stir in some milk and some seasoning and be done with the whole thing. But, you'll see that in a minute. Let's get these potatoes cooked. I'm gonna make, let's make half a bag. Everybody's got a vegetable peeler? Peel your potatoes. Some people say you can cut the potatoes up, boil them, and the right, and when you push them through the ricer, the, the peels stay in the ricer. I think it makes a big mess and you lose a lot of potato and it's really hard pushing the, you know, the potato skins clog up the ricer. I find it's easier to just spend a minute and peel all the potatoes and they, they boil more evenly too because they don't have that thick skin on one side of the pieces. So, spend a minute, peel your potatoes. Um, here we need hyperdrive. I'm going to cut up the potatoes. To boil them, you want to make sure you cut them not into tiny pieces, but no, that big. Oh, sorry. Here's a fun addition to your mashed potatoes. Garlic. What do we have? About four servings of potatoes. I'm going to use a whole head of garlic. We're going to peel it and we're going to boil the cloves right in with the potatoes. And then when we rice the potatoes, we'll just go ahead and rice the, the cloves right into it, stirred in. It's a great addition. To tackle one of these things, I usually just like to use my knife on these too. And then just, nah. And then pick all the papers out. I'm starting with cold water on high heat. Add my potatoes. Add a good bit of, uh, yeah, that's a lot of salt. Remember, I'm going to pour all this water off. There's just going to be a little bit of salt that soaks into the potatoes. I'm not going to get really excited about too much salt. Go ahead and let this boil. We're going to let this boil for half an hour. 
Yeah, that doesn't seem like a long time for potatoes, but when we make this dish, we want to boil the potatoes too far. We don't want any chunks in the potatoes. The potatoes are dense vegetables. We don't need to worry about them getting waterlogged or anything like that. Don't overthink the garlic. Um, if you can't get them peeled, some of them, they're going to have nice tight skins and you can't get them apart. Doesn't matter. Remember I told you how I didn't like the potato skins in the ricer? The garlic skins, eh. There's a couple, I'll deal, but this is too much work. Leave them in there, we'll deal with them later. All right, we're at about 45 minutes later, and it took about 50 minutes for this big pot to come up to a boil. But if you look closely at the potatoes, they're like falling apart. They're, they're just totally soft, there's nothing to them. They just, they've got nothing, they've got no resistance. This is where we want to be. This is perfect. This is what you want to do for mashed potatoes. All right, once we've got our potatoes cooked, this is super easy to finish off. I've got about a quarter of a cup of milk that I've heated on the stove. I've got a half a stick of butter, and then from here, just uh, rice your potatoes. Look how easy this is to do. You can see, the, there's a, here's a garlic right here, here's the potatoes. Here's the garlic peels. This is super easy to do. Yeah, it looks a little soupy. Don't worry. You, the potatoes are going to drink up all that milk. They're going to drink up all of that liquid. Just turn it in there, and look at this. We're done. And I think we're ready to turn these right out into a serving dish. Those are perfect. Let's get these out onto the table. Lovely. Didn't spend too much time stirring them. Didn't do too much processing. These are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.